Welcome to the Elisa Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover how to select, create, and modify sources on both the Soundscape and Sources pages. As a reminder, there are 16 pre-configured sources in each of the template sessions. To change various aspects of the sources, open the Sources page. You can also navigate to the Sources page with the keyboard shortcut Command-2 on Mac and Control-2 on Windows. On the Overview tab, you can see the current list of created sources. Create new sources by clicking the New button. Alternatively, you can simply double-click a source and it will be created. By double-clicking on the name, you can rename each source. Use Shift-Tab and Tab to move up and down the list respectively for quicker renaming. You can change colors of each source for more organization. Select the audio input patch for each source. You can show or hide each source by toggling its display, as well as any effects actions. Audibly solo a source. Isolate the source from external control, or initialize the source to its default parameter settings. Stereo linked sources can be created by selecting two adjacent sources and clicking the stereo button. You can create multiple stereo links at once by selecting multiple sources. There are five additional tabs in the Sources page for more in-depth control. Control. The control flag matrix defines how each parameter of each source can be controlled, which will be covered in a separate quick start video. Processing. Relates to the distance algorithm and sends to the 3D room engine. Delay. Features two input delay modes, static or dynamic. Snapshot actions. Define how each source is being controlled by the snapshot engine. This will also be covered in a separate video. And desk layout for live sound console controls with the desk link feature. Back on the Soundscape page, sources can be selected in the sources list. You'll notice that any changes to names and colors are reflected here as well. Sources can also be selected by opening the source selection window or moving up or down with arrow keys. A source can audibly be soloed as well as a visual solo for better visibility. The default state for solo in Elisa is additive. For a more in-depth explanation of solo, check the quick start video on solo and visual solo. Multiple separate sources can be selected with the command key in Mac or control in Windows. Use the Option or Alt keys for Mac and Windows respectively to enable singular solo mode for a source. When using the Shift, Command, and Alt buttons on the controller, there is a countdown timer that keeps the key state active with the timer resetting with each action. Cancel the timer by clicking each button again. For additional information on each tab of the sources page, please refer to the detailed help file. This has been the Elisa Studio Quick Start for source selection.